One, two, three. We are recording. Thank you, Mayor Riley. Well, you're very welcome. Thank you. Um, dear Mayor Riley, I'd like to call you calm in the eye of the hurricane, Joe Riley. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to exercise my freedom of speech in peace. I love speaking at city council, placing myself in the historical records of the city of Charleston. Thank you for this excellent forum. Thank you for the awesome letter that you wrote to my mother, Carolyn Polite Chisholm, for her service on the Charleston County School Board. Your very eloquent letter, thanking her for her service, still makes her feel very special to this day. And I've learned that love is not what you give to the people that you admire. You give love to the people who make you feel special, Mayor Riley. So I thank you for making me and my mother feel special. And I have seen your kindness extended to others during more trying situations. Hurricanes are known for having an eye in the storm. The eye is calm in the center of chaos. You, Mayor Riley, exhibit the same calmness in your personality. I like to call you calm in the eye of the Hurricane Joe Riley. Mayor Riley, you are calm in the eye of criticism, calm in the eye of adulation, and on September 21st, 1989, you were calm when Hurricane Hubert had his eye on Charleston, South Carolina. Calmly, you called your staff together, you told them to call the cities in, in the Gulf to find out how they handle Camille. And not only are you calm in the eye of the hurricane, you're also very decisive. You found out that quickly rising water is a killer. You wanted something out of the citizen, but you didn't want fear, you didn't want panic. I think you wanted action. The, evacua the evacuation had begun, and begun calm in the eye of the hurricane Joe Riley. You were, you and your staff boarded up City Hall with the local and national media present to show the people of Charleston a good example. Hurricane Joe Riley, you knew that it was going to be serious. You knew that it was an opportunity to serve the citizens. You told your staff that this is, this is the time that the citizens will need us the most. You calmly told your team, we have got to do better than any other city has ever done. This, this is with no roof on City Hall. Always calm Joe Riley, you started calling plays like a quarterback or a general in battle. You wanted normalcy back. You would not allow them to quit. Even though you all were exhausted, you would not allow your team to let up. After the hurricane, you called the conference of mayors, and uh, they you know, got back to you wanting to know how they could help. And in, you know, in summation, you helped build Charleston into a world-class city. I understand why it is said that you are the most loved politician in America. I do not want you to retire. I, I want you to take a little time off with your family and friends. Then I pray that you use all your superpowers to help the homeless and the poor. I know that your, how your leadership helped the region before, during, and after Hurricane Hugo. So I'm asking you, please don't retire. The homeless uh, are spirit experiencing an economic hurricane right now and they need the calm, decisive leadership that only Mayor Riley can provide. Help calm the current economic storm that our city is being challenged with. The poor, the homeless have need of you. So, Mayor Riley, I, I, I know whatever you decide to do, that you're going to, the best years of your life are still ahead of you. Well, I'm so honored. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mayor Riley. Thank you. All right. That I just so wanted to say. That was so nice. Thank you. Thank you. It, it, it was definitely.